Michael, uh, obviously a great opportunity to talk about just uh, getting a chance to really kind of follow in the footsteps of a bunch of legends. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge honor. I mean, when Mac, I talked to Mac Rose um, on yesterday, yesterday morning, and he said, hey, would you like to be the, the next head coach at Baylor? It just blew my mind. I mean, just to, to follow Coach Hart, a legendary Coach Hart that coached me for uh, while I was in college, and it actually brought me back. And then to follow Coach Harbor, it was an amazing feeling. Is there a little bit of a, you know, I mean, you got to kind of live up to the, but, you know, maybe trying to take it, maybe back to where it's been in the past? Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, that, I think the expectations for me are always been really high. Um, I've always shot for the stars. And so for me right now is just making sure that we're nationally relevant every year, each and every year, and then making sure that we perform well at the Big 12 championships. You uh, obviously have been coaching for a while, but is this something you work toward? Is this something you had wanted for a long time? What, what, what are your thoughts? I guess? Well, I think honestly, for me, Coaching was, it kind of just fell on my lap. But I think as the years got, as I got a little older, a little wiser, um, and coaching more, I just felt that being a head coach, when you want to make your own decisions, you have to be the head coach to make the decisions. And so for me, the next step had to be the head coach. Are you on social media at all? Or yeah, I'm on it. I'm not on it as probably a new. Yeah, I have to actually change my name now. So it was the BU Sprint Coach. Now it'd be the BU Head Coach. Oh, um, so I have to change it. But I'm on social media quite a bit now. Have you seen a lot of posts from former, you know, athletes and things like that? I saw Will London did something and some people like that. Yeah. So last night when I got home after the announcement, I had I had 250 text messages on my on my work phone. So I did that. I responded. I responded back to everyone. Um, I still haven't been on Twitter yet, but I've done all my Instagram. So I have quite a bit. And so I'll be doing my Twitter today. <laughs> what does that support mean to you? Oh, it was an amazing feeling. I had a lot of I had a lot of alumni um, reach out to me on, during the process because it was a very long process, almost six weeks, almost six or seven week process. And, um, just to have, have them encourage me and say, hey, we got your back if you're the new head coach. And then, and then even our current students, and I had a lot of parents reach out to me. So it just made me feel really well. Um, and I had a lot of coaches around the country have had some support and actually called Mac and Marcus. And so it just I had a good feeling about that. What, what are your steps now? I mean, this is, like you said, it's been a while and you're kind of late in the process now across the country starting next month. What's your next steps, that kind of thing? Well, the big next step is, um, of course, we have a, a big team meeting in August. I met with the team today for the first time and introduced myself to a lot of them that didn't know me, but some of them did know me. Um, so we did that. And then um, I think our biggest thing for the staff is going on recruiting because we're a little bit behind because of the because of the process. But um, we have some really good recruits lined up. And so that'll be the next step. And then um, actually starting to build a culture and telling the team what we expect for next year. You got three Olympians uh, going to Tokyo. What does that mean for the program? Maybe what does it even mean for you to have those over there? Trayvon's one you coached yourself. Uh, Will, you've been around for a while. KC, what does that mean having those there? Man, I think that's the ultimate goal. Like every, every kid that we work with, uh, of course, the, the making the Olympic team, world championship teams, they're, they're special because no, a lot of people don't make those teams. And so to have three, I, mean, I think the, the most we've ever had has been two. Um, but to have three on the U.S. team, that's going to be special. And they're still young, so they still have opportunities to even make it in 2024. But I'm very pleased to, uh, to see them compete in the next couple of weeks. There's still a reputation as quarter mile or you, but in terms of you trying to put your stamp on it, and obviously that was – your event as well, but what do you want to do? What are, what are your emphasis? Here? Well, my big emphasis, of course, since I am a, a sprint coach, we're going we're gonna to hit it hard on the sprints and the hurdles. Um, we've had great success in the last few years in the, in the field events, and so we're going to keep pressing that, and then we want to get back to getting some good distance runners on our, on our team to make us a better overall team. In terms of your staff, uh, you know, most everybody, you know, obviously everybody was here last year. What do you want to do there? And obviously, I guess you have at least one position to fill. Yeah, well, right now we're we're still going through the process of um, figuring out the staff, and I'll have some meetings this week with them and figure out, show, tell them my vision and see if they get along with the vision that I have for them. What does it say on your bracelet? Um, it says, do you believe in yourself? And um, 
I always say one of the things is like, do you believe? And I always talk about Christ. Um, do you believe in the Lord? And then also, do you believe in yourself? I think that's a very important. I think a lot of a lot of times athletes, you might have more um, more vision for them than they do, but I want them to make sure they can believe in themselves. Might not be a fair question, but in following up to that, do you have any doubts that you can do this job? No, I don't have any doubts. I think if I surround myself with a great staff, um, I think the head coaches, when they have a great staff, it makes them look a lot better. So um, if if my staff is making me look good, then I'm gonna be okay. I, I know I'll have some growing pains, um, but I have some great mentors I can call. I even Coach Art, even Coach Harbor, um, a couple other coaches that I talk to. So um, I know I'll make my my mistakes and in, in hopefully earlier than later. Um, and so I'm looking forward to it, though. How about uh, I'm sure you saw that video, the mid '90s. You run into your 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 start. We had to dig back in the archives for that. I know. What'd you What'd you think of that? And just the the journey. To, from the mid 90s all the way to, to 2021 where you're at now? Well, I hadn't seen that video in probably a year. Um, and one of the questions I got on Instagram was, can I still fit my jersey? And I'm probably about 10 pounds heavier, <laughs> but um, it, it, it's ironic. So my first, my, my last national championship was at Oregon. Um, and that was that, that, that meet. My first one back to Baylor was Oregon. And then my last meet as an assistant coach was at Oregon. And then my next as a head coach would be at Oregon. So it just, it kind of all just went together. Um, but the uniforms, I didn't like the uniform at all though. What's your, what's your quarter time now? Man, good question. I, <laughs> maybe about 55, I think. Maybe 55. It's better than me. <laughs> uh, how about that journey though, to go from, you know, you had promotions assistant to associate to now head coach, just knowing that you've been through all those steps, and you have to, you've had to earn your way to, to this opportunity. Yeah. Well, one of the one of the big things that my grandpa um, he taught me, and my my mom taught me, um, is you got to keep working. Like if you want to be successful in life, you have to work. Um, you got to get some breaks from time to time. But the big thing is making sure you work hard.